Wednesday.exe. Why won't you go away? Just <laughs> get out of here. I made a hole in my wall. Zodiacy, I hate you. Let us begin. Uh, we dealt with him a couple weeks ago. Actually, we dealt with some Azrael looking evil demon guy. So let us begin an all new retelling of the story. Hello there, Sans. Oh, have I got the final hit off on you? Good. So, guess that's it, huh? Yeah, that's right. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Now go to Grilby's. Well, what? I'm going to Grobies. That's right. You don't control your destiny, Sans. I do. The human with determination. But now what? So we know that Sans disappears. But five minutes later, something happens. What could it be? Here we are. In the void, perhaps? Where do monsters go when they die? I guess we'll find out soon. Hello? Oh. It's you. Greetings, Sans. I've been expecting you. Yeah? Oh, am I supposed to press up then? Who? Who are you? I'm Zodum. God of after death. Your death has been brought to my attention. So I brought you here to my realm. Whoa, whoa, what do you want? Why, to help you, of course. You see, Sans, your world was erased by a malevolent creature, and everyone you knew and loved are gone because of them. And I want to offer you something because of that. Oh, well. Uh, what uh, is it? I'm willing to give you a second chance. A chance to enact revenge. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? You will be able to relive the life you've once had and become immortal. And not just that, you will also need to kill your friends. What? No! Uh, they are my friends. Why would I kill them? Because if you do, they will become immortal as well, meaning that they will never be killed by the human. That way, the human won't stand a chance. I know this sounds pretty extreme, but it is the only way to prevent them from meeting the same fate again. Besides, why pass up an opportunity like this? If you don't accept this offer, you'll remain here in purgatory. So now, what will it be? To kill friends or to not kill friends? That is the question. But if they're granted eternal life like this guy is saying, that sounds like a good idea. But no. No. Then you will be stuck here. Oh. Are we literally just like stuck here? Hello? Is there even anything here? There's a door. I'm going to leave. We can't leave. We are literally stuck here. Oh, that's that's cool. Well, uh, can I at least go back? Well, I think we only have one option and that is to accept what you are asking. So now, what will it be? Yes, I will sacrifice all my friends just so they can live forever. Well now. I knew you would come around. Come and follow me. Oh. So we're actually going somewhere this time. Okay, I cannot take the throne of the after death world. We're just going to follow. Oh, we're. We're here. And the under. Are we going to kill Frisk? Oh no, we're going to kill everybody. That's what we're doing. Through this door, a new life awaits you. But once you enter, there is no going back. And remember, Sans, this chance I've offered you was for you to save your friends. If you fail, then I can no longer bring you back. Good luck. So we save our friends by killing our friends. Got it. 
and thus the journey begins. Oh, hi, Sans. Oh, very interesting. So that is the full story. Sans.exe exists undefeated and takes everyone's souls. Is there going to be a third part? Is he going to be back, back, back again? I guess we'll find out. But for now, we do have a bonus game. Welcome, everyone, to Buried Alive Plus. Is it a plus? I guess we're going to find out. This is another creepypasta based off of Lavender Town that apparently I guess I haven't played. So let's go ahead and start. Here we are in Lavender Town. We have a road over there we're not gonna go. And as always, this was the creepiest town probably originating because all the children that listened to this in Japan died or something like that. I don't know. This song was just like cursed or something back in the 90s. So if you didn't live in the 90s, you wouldn't, uh, you and lived in Japan and listened to this song on the original Game Boy, not color, on uh, Pokemon uh, Green version, then you wouldn't have died. But if you did, you would have been dead. That's how scary it was. But anyways, I think we just got to get to the top of this tower, right? Uh, please don't battle me. Oh, nobody wants to battle today. That is good. Whoops. Now I can easily get to the top as long as I avoid the ghosts inside of this tower. I don't even, I only have a level two. Oh, wait, what? Pack. Okay. I only have one Pokemon with me, Pikachu, obviously. I don't know. Okay, that's backpack. Save, sure. It's gonna save our game really fast. I don't know what's gonna happen. We have a bunch of different missing nodes and we do have to go through one of them, I guess. We can't go through that guy. So let's go down here. Hello, missing no. Let's be pass. He has emerged. Go, Pikachu, I choose you. Attack. What? He evaded the attack. Run away before uh, it's too late. Oh, run away before it's too late. Ah! I will never run. We will fight and destroy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, what happened to the world? There. Wait. There. Are these stairs up here? We apparently glitched out the world. By. Oh, we seriously glitched out the world. What? Maybe we shouldn't have died to, uh, to missing the- where do I go? Everything's literally blocked. Uh, Pikachu, why did you have to lose that battle? You're level 40, man. The heck? I wonder if one of these doors are the right doors. Maybe this tunnel? Oh, you're being consumed by glitches. That is great. We're dead. The game has crashed. We are consumed by the missing no. So that's what happens when you fight missing no in Lavender Town. Do not do that, or your game save will be corrupted. Hopefully, you all enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for out.